Hey everyone, welcome to iOS Hacker. Today we are tackling a commonly asked question. Should you kill apps on your iPhone? You might be surprised by the answer, so stick around to find out. Many people think closing apps from the app switcher saves battery life or improves performance. It's tempting to swipe away all those apps, but is it really necessary? Let's break it down. Your iPhone is designed to manage apps efficiently. When you switch to another app, the previous one goes into a suspended state. This means it's not actively using your battery or processing power. The app in suspended state can be reopened whenever user needs it without requiring the iPhone to load the whole app again and thus using resources like battery and processing power. In most cases, killing these apps doesn't help and it might actually make things worse. Here's why you shouldn't make a habit of killing apps. Battery drain. Relaunching an app from scratch uses more power than resuming it from the suspended state. When you kill an app and relaunch it, the iPhone is forced to load up all of app's assets and data, which puts a significant strain on your device's battery. Slower performance. Constantly closing and reopening apps can make your iPhone feel sluggish. When you launch an app that was killed from the app switcher, iPhone loads it up once again. This includes loading app's local assets as well as assets that have been downloaded from the internet. All of this loading can take time and make your iPhone seem a little slower. Background activities Apps like music player or navigation apps might stop working properly if you force close them. So if you're playing music, it will turn off and your open playlist or album will also disappear. Same is true for the navigation and other types of apps that refresh in the background. That said, there are times when it's okay or even necessary to kill an app. This includes instances when an app is frozen or is not responding. You can solve this problem quickly by swiping it away in the app switcher. You can also kill apps if you are facing crashing issues. Force close the app and reopen it to fix temporary glitches. It is also a good idea to kill battery hogging apps. If an app is draining your iPhone's battery, closing it might help. So should you kill apps on your iPhone? The short answer is no, unless you have a specific problem that you need to fix. In most instances, let your iPhone handle app management. It's designed to make your life easier. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more iPhone tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in our next video.